Yeah, I was heavily influenced. When I, when I got out to Chicago and heard Sam, I heard him at the Ann Arbor Blues Festival. And I, I didn't go to Woodstock because it was the same weekend and all my friends went there. So I purposely went to Ann Arbor. And um, I just just completely blown away. And then I went to Chicago to find Sam. And he was in Cook County Hospital. And he, he was in there for a stroke. Oh, no. And um, yeah, I went by the Jazz Record Mart. Bob Kester's place, and I said, do you know where I can find Magic Sam? And they kind of went, hey, he's in the hospital, dude. You know, I thought that was an odd kind of answer. You know, I thought, wow, here's this guy, this incredible right. player. And like, why weren't they over there saying, you know. But anyway, this I went over like there, and he was on a big thing. ward. And when I went there, he was yeah. sleeping. And I looked at him, and I, he looked up, and I, he said, well, who are you? And I said, I'm, I'm Robert Ewan which is my, it's Robert Ratcliffe, you my whole name. And I said, I'm here to meet you. And I said, I love your music, and uh, I had to find you, you know. So he gave me his phone number and his address, and he said, look, when I get out of the hospital, why don't you come and stay with me and my, uh, you know, my family. And I remember wow. he lived on 1613 South Harding. I wow. still have my old address book with, like, Eddie Clearwater's old address, <laughs> and Ernie Gatewood, you know, Big Mojo. Um, wow. All, all kinds of musicians that I had. You know, there were a few different guitar juniors at that time. And, uh, and Sammy Lawhorn, all kinds of guys. And um, I sat in at the Flash Lounge one night, which was Eddie Clearwater's uh, place. It was over on Pulaski. And um, so then Sam would take me out to the Alex Club, and that was always fun. I mean, Mac Thompson had an Electra 225, and they would put me in the back and stuff me down like this, put a coat over me, <laughs> because of the cops were, half of the force was on the Klan, in the Klan, so they would go to jail and the white kid would get off, or just not be, you know. Right. Take so they out. had to hide me, and they took me into the Alex Club, and the owner's name was, all I remember is they called him Boss. And they said, look, you know, this is Robert, you know, I'll make, you know, just watch over him. And, Mm -hmm. So he was sort of like my, my you know, godfather. my godfather of the right. Alex Club. And so I would hear the bands play in there. And usually it was Otis playing, or Mighty yeah. Show Young's band. And Sam would come out and play and sit in with him and just keep playing maybe a whole set or something. But he was bartending half the time, right? Yeah, he was a bartender at the, actually at the LNA Lounge, which was about a block from his house. And he was one of the bar, he was a bartender. And Magic Slim was the house band, and he played on Friday and Saturdays. But, um, I'm starting to sweat to death. 